Yo, yo, what up, what up? If you haven't seen the trailer by now, please go enjoy that for yourself. Or check out my reaction to it, as it's also on the channel. Um, I'm going to dive right into this video, man. Ugh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little emotional right now. I'm amped for uh, this trailer. Like, her Tales from the Outlands, man, kind of, it was soft to me. It was all right, but it was soft. But this trailer, oh my gosh, man. I'm so amped. This is so much better. So amped. So we're going to go through here, and I'm going to, you know, just kind of pick apart what I've seen and go from there. All right, let's go. So the first thing that kind of pops up in the video for me is that, obviously, we are underneath King's Canyon. Um, if you have been keeping up with, like, the little game teasers or, you know, the little in-game teasers and everything that Respawn has kind of dropped, uh, you would know that there's some sort of addition to labs going on. And, you know, like, labs within the labs type thing. And this is our, what I think is our first look at those actual labs. And it turns out, you know, it's a lab full of revenants, man. It just shells whether or not we're going to be able to actually, you know, kind of get in there and explore kind of how Loba is exploring is, you know, that that's still up to, up to see. Uh, I doubt we'll be able to reach all the levels that she did, but I'm pretty sure we'll have some sort of base of that. Cause that, that would be pretty awesome to see. Just saying, I'm definitely going to visit there. So this is actually the first time that we get to see how, you know, where Revenant's consciousness, consciousness is. And, you know, he's just chilling, <laughs> chilling in a vault uh, while he's running around, you know, being in a similar ground. Um, which is actually pretty cool because this is like the first time as far as an apex that we have seen how this process works. And I'm going to drop another video on that. But right now we're just going to pass right on by that. <laughs> So looking more into this and kind of, you know, observing the picture a little bit more, that teleportation is obviously different than her teleporting. And that teleportation ability is actually coming from her staff and not from the little ring that she got from Hammond. So I'm thinking that that might actually be her ult because her ult was kind of like taking loot from like, you know, a certain kind of loot from like one place. Um, and that could be it. You know, we could very well be seeing her ult right here. And that's pretty dope because, you know, when I first made this, I did not see it. So if this sounds out of place, that is why. Next, we actually see her leave some sort of like sticky grenades on some, uh, you know, just some tanks. And <clears throat> you can tell by the explosions that they're not, you know, they're not your apex grenades, right? And, and the whole makeup of them, they're not your apex grenades, they're not your grenades, your thermite or your arc stars. So is this going to be another one of her abilities? Because the abilities that were leaked for her were a lot less offensive. Um, you know, she had the teleport and then it was more of like loot based. And I, honestly, I, I, that's awesome. I would much rather have this. This if this is like her tactical or um, ult, you know, that would be insane. Like th those are cool. Or is that a new grenade that's going to be introduced into season five? Because, you know, that's like a time detonation thing. Honestly, I think it's here just for the trailer. Because that, I don't know, that would be cool. I would love to see that. And really, I feel like if it's a proximity mine type thing, that would be even doper. But her teleportation is obviously going to be your tactical. So, you know, we, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if it's her ult or what it is. Um, or they could just be grenades, you know what I'm saying? So this, this is one of those things. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Lastly, we're going to talk about that teleport, man. Like, in the trailer, it is showcased a lot. She teleports several times, way more than what you're actually going to be able to do. I would say you're going to be able to do it once, and then there's going to be a cooldown, maybe twice. But I really feel like twice is going to be kind of overpowered and very similar to Tracer. So I really feel like you're only going to be able to toss it once, and then there's going to be a cooldown. As far as the distance and everything, I'm not sure on that either. She does variable links here. At one minute, she goes super far. Like, she literally comes out of the labs all the way to the top of a rock, which is going to be impossible for you. But, you know, how far does this thing go? It looks like it's going to go pretty decently, at least decently far. And I think that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm excited, man. I like these uh, I like these abilities. And I really hope that, you know, it's not like the Revenant trailer. Which, you know, with the Revenant trailer, you know, it really fixed my expectations for this trailer as far as what you're going to see being showcased and then what you're actually able to do. So I'm not sure, man. Uh, I feel like she's going to be able to teleport a little bit, but probably not an insanely amount. And...
come to kill me, little girl. Someday. So that little piece of audio, dude, has me so amped. I was really hoping that they would address that because that that's oh, <laughs> that's so cool. It is so friggin' awesome. Ah, I'm like fanboy, man. I, I can't even like express what I was trying to express because uh, <laughs> it's such a cool little, you know, banter between them. And Revenant just seems so much doper that way. You know, he seems so angsty in the game. And then he's over here just like, you know, you come to kill me. Like, come on, bro. And I, and I love it. Um, and I really hope that there are in-game quips and things like that that are very tight and very similar to what we just heard between the two. You know, I hope there's, you know, banner between the two. And honestly, I hope that the game progresses and that Loba kind of understands that, you know, Revenant didn't choose to be like a murder robot, you know, like he was doing his job. That's just, that's what he was programmed to do. And then after that, he realized who he was. And then he's turned on Hammond Robotics and he can explain to her like, yo, bro, you know, yo, this, you know, Hammond wanted him dead. It wasn't me. I didn't want to kill him. Like, I'm just a puppet in all reality. Like I used to be a puppet and now I'm not. And so, which even then, like, that's the old Hammond. So where do they go from here? You know, is it, is the, is it just going to fizzle out or are they going to both go after Hammond Robotics? You know, like, what's going to happen? I think this is setting everything up in a, in a you know, another fashion. It could go nowhere. Um, that kind of happens here in Apex. Things, things get set up and then they go nowhere. But I am super excited. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below if you could smash that like button if you could help a brother out hit that subscribe so you can stay up to date with all your apex legends news thanks so much for watching